Hey, we did a video a couple of days ago about how you could hover over a column like this and then it goes down to the bottom. When you move away, it goes back to the top. And we used a bit of code fantastically created by Jimmy and George. Big credit to them. But someone commented on another way you could do it without having any code whatsoever. And I want to show you how to do that right now. So what I've got over here is a section with three columns. You could do this with containers as well, by the way. But we've got column one, column two and column three. Now in column three, we're gonna give it a background image. So simple, right? We're gonna go over here and we're just gonna pick this image here. And please do make sure it's a vertical image. If it's a lovely, nice horizontal image, there's not much to scroll, right? It might work for you, but a good vertical image would be well advised. Let's insert that. Now here's the settings that are really important. We've got top center because we want it to start at the top. I've gone for scroll. If you go for fixed, it's going to start to mess things up. So just go with scroll for now. No repeat. And the important one is the size must be cover. If you go for auto, it kind of, you're missing a lot of the left and right size of it. So let's just go for cover there. Now, when I move over this, nothing is going to happen at the moment. It's just not moving at all, right? What we then do is go to hover. And this is the bit that blows my mind, right? You now pick exactly the same image like that. And this time you set it to be bottom, center, scroll, no repeat, cover. So what we're saying is at the start, be at the top. And when you hover, go to the bottom. And here's where we add in a transition duration. I'm going to put in about 10 seconds for now. OK, but when I hover, nothing happens. And you might be thinking, well, this is just isn't working. You said no code. You do have to add in a spacer. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to drop in a spacer like that. And I'm just going to hit update for now. When I now move over, it's going to take 10 seconds to scroll to the bottom. That might be too long for you. So quite easily, just go back to your column, go back to hover and say, OK, we're not going to go for 10. We're going to go for five seconds. Let's update that. In fact, let's look at it in preview mode as well. And it will now do a five second scroll top to bottom like that. And when you move your mouse away, it just scrolls gently five seconds back to the top. So with no code added, this is a really simple, easy way that you could add um, a hover scroll image effect to a section or a column or an inner section or whatever you want. Just by using the background normal and hover functionality, top center, remember, cover and then hover bottom center cover. And there you go. God, don't you love it? Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mat.